Hey guys and welcome back to me diving into the MCU and this week I'll be diving into the Phase 2 film, Guardians of the Galaxy. This film was released in 2014 and overall is the 10th MCU film. It was directed by James Gunn who wrote the script with Nicole Perman. The film follows Peter Quill who finds himself in space prison and ends up teaming up with his fellow four teammates, Rocket Raccoon, Groot, Gamora and Drax. The reason why they team up is to initially escape prison, but they eventually become the Guardians of the Galaxy. After saving the galaxy from Ronan, who intends to use the orb that Quill tries to steal for evil. Chris Pratt plays Peter Quill, Zoe Saldana plays Gamora, Dave Batista plays Drax, Vin Diesel plays Groot, Bradley Cooper plays Rocket, who are overall the Guardians who we have gotten to love in these MCU films over the years, which are the second film, the upcoming film which we're having, and the Avengers appearances we've had so far. Lee Pace plays Ronan, who overall just appears in this one film, and well, I'm kinda glad to be honest. Michael Rucker plays Yondu, who essentially is Quill's stepdad. Karen Gillian plays Nebula, who is Gamora's half-sister. This film was also known about when Kevin Feige first mentioned it as a potential film at the 2010 San Diego Comic-Con. He also mentioned the film set in space while being interviewed for Entertainment Weekly. He finally announced the film's development at San Diego Comic-Con in 2012, with a release date of August 1st, 2014. Concept art was also released. One show on Rocket Raccoon and the other featured the whole team. In August 2012, James Gunn entered talks to direct the film. Other directors in the talks were Peyton Reed and the Bowden-Fleck duo. However, it was kind of clear out with the directors James was going to get the job, with Joss Whedon backing him up all the way. Nicole Perlman, who was actually a part of the Marvel screenwriting program since 2009, was actually offered several properties to base a screenplay off, with most of them being smaller Marvel properties. Out of all them, she chose Guardians due to her interest in space and science fiction. Overall, she spent two years writing a draft before Gunn came into early 2012 to contribute to the script. Unfortunately though, Gunn rewrote the entire script himself. Overall, he has said over the years that her script wasn't going to work for his vision, and pretty much everything in the film we have now is completely different to her original script. And, well, she was only credited due to her being the first writer on the project. Chris McCoy also was stated to have been put in to rewrite the script that Perlman wrote, but it's not been said if anything he wrote was included in the final film, with him not even getting any final credit whatsoever. Overall, Gunn stated that the character introductions were the hardest to do, especially with Thanos since that was more for the sake of the MCU, not his actual film. Overall, Gunn signed on in September 2012 to direct and write, with the end of November consistent with Joel Edgerton, Jack Hudson, signing deals to test for the role of Peter Quill. However, Chris Pratt was cast for the role in February 2013, with James Gunn saying Glenn Halton was his second choice. In January 2013, the film was scheduled to take place in London for June and Marvel Studios announced the film would be released in 3D. Faggy stated in March 2013 that it was very much a standalone film and 95% of the film would be taking place in space. Dave Bautista was cast as Drax in the same month. Other actors considered for the role was Brian Patrick Wade and Jason Momoa. In April 2013, Zoe Zaldana entered talks to play Gamora in the film and it was confirmed later on in the month that she was cast. Amanda Seyfeld was also offered the role, but declined. Michael Rucker was also cast as Yondu in the same month. Filming began around July 6, 2013 in London. Later in the July, Gunn and the cast flew down to attend San Diego Comic Con, and that's where they announced Pace would play Ronan, and Gillian would play Nebula. Thanos is also stated to appear by Feige. In August 2013, Marvel announced Bradley Cooper's casting as Rocket, with Vin Diesel being announced to be voice and grew in September 2013. On October 12th, Gunn announced on social media that the filming was complete. It is heavily known that James's brother, Sean Gunn, also took on multiple roles during the filming process, mostly for the role of Rocket. In November 2013, James stated that he attempted to use as many practical effects as possible while filming. Faggy also stated after the release of Fall the Dark World that the Infinity Stones would be a focus in the film. In May, Gunn stated that he made sure to have as many Marvel characters appear in this film as possible. 
By the end of May, Josh Brolin was revealed to be voicing Thanos in the film, with Feige also saying that he would be providing performance capture for the character as well. In August 2013, Gunn revealed that Tyler Bates would also be composing the film's score, and stated that he would write some pieces of the score before they were filming, so Gunn could actually film to the music. In February 2014, he also stated that the film would feature songs from the 60s and the 80s on Quill's war plan, which is a way for the character to stay connected to Earth. The world premiere of the film was held on July 21st, 2014 in Hollywood. The film first released on July 31st in the UK and then was released on August 1st in the US. The film was released digitally on November 18th, 2014 and was released on disc on November 24th in the UK and December 9th in the US. The film earned $333.7 million in America and $439.6 million in other countries overall making the film earning $773.3 million. It also became the third highest grossing MCU film at the time. The first two were The Avengers and Iron Man 3. It was also the third highest grossing film of 2014. The film got a 92% on Rotten Tomatoes from 328 reviews, and Metacritic gave the film a 76 out of 100 from 53 reviews, Overall, critics loved it, and The Empire featured it on the 100 Greatest Films of All Time list in 2017. It was also the highest MCU film on that list as well. Honestly, in my opinion, this is all thanks to James Gunn. And well, honestly, if this film was created by anyone else, I don't think it would actually work. As I have kind of mentioned before, the Guardians were not really a big team before this movie. But heck, I am glad Marvel Studios took on the property for a movie. My god, these characters are so good, especially Peter Quill who is brilliantly played by Chris Pratt. Overall, the character he is a perfect mix of relatability and humour. Rucker also is very brilliantly performed in CGI but also in voice by Bradley Cooper. I just love this little guy's snappy energy. Groot is also very much well played here, where you can fully tell how the character is feeling from just three words. But going back to Gunn here, he just very much knows how to do such beautiful visuals and the soundtrack is done so perfectly here. My dad can kind of agree with the statement since when we went to see the film when I was around 11 or 12, he came out loving the soundtrack. Overall, I really love this film. It's very much a part of the unique space films we get in the MCU and very much what we're going to get more in the future of the MCU as well. It's just James Gunn filmmaking and you can't really hate on James Gunn filmmaking because it's that superb. But yeah, it's very much something else the MCU needed. Very good two films released in a row by the MCU which is obviously Captain America the Winter Soldier in this film. So yeah, I'm very much looking forward for it. And make sure to come back next week for the next two Phase 2 movie video which is Avengers Age of Ultron. So yeah, that's all I really have to say in this video, so thank you so much for watching, and peace.